Hello friends, welcome to Art with Aruna and today we are going to learn shortcut method for subtraction of mixed fractions. Let's start. Steps which we are going to follow. Step 1. Make the denominator same. Step 2. Make the numerator of first fraction greater than the numerator of the second fraction. Step 3. Subtract the whole part of the second fraction from the whole part of the first fraction. Step 4. Subtract the numerator of second fraction from the numerator of the first fraction. Step 5. Keep the denominator as it is. Our first question is 5, 6 by 7 minus 3, 1 by 7. So first of all, let's take this fraction as number 1 and second fraction as number 2. Here in both the fractions, you can see that the denominator of both the fractions are same, that is 7. Next, we need to check whether the numerator of first fraction is greater than the numerator of second fraction or not. So here in our example, the numerator of first fraction, that is 6, is greater than the numerator of the second fraction, that is 1. So it is quite easy to solve this question for us. So what we need to do here? Simply we need to subtract the whole part with whole part. We need to subtract numerator with numerator and we will keep the denominator as it is. So here what we will do? We will write 5 minus 3. Then we need to subtract the numerator. So we will write 6 minus 1 and we will keep the denominator same. So here you can see that 5 minus 3 that is 2. Here 6 minus 1 that is 5 and we will keep the denominator same. So here is our answer for this question. Our second example is 6 3 by 11 minus 4 5 by 11. Here you can see that the denominator in both the fractions are same that is 11. So next condition which we need to check for the shortcut method is the numerator of the first fraction must be greater than the numerator of the second fraction. But here in our case, the numerator of first fraction that is 3 is less than the numerator of the second fraction that is 5. So what we need to do? First of all, we need to make the numerator of the first fraction greater than the numerator of the second fraction. So to make this numerator greater, we need to subtract 1 from this whole number. So we will write 6 minus 1 here. Next, we need to add the denominator to this numerator that is 3 plus 11 in our case and we will keep the denominator as it is that is 11 next fraction that is 4 5 by 11 so here 6 minus 1 5 3 plus 11 that is 14 denominator as it is that is 11 minus 4 5 by 11 so now here you can see that Earlier our fraction was 6 3 by 11. Now it is changed to 5 14 by 11. Now the numerator of the first fraction is greater than the numerator of the second fraction. That is 14 is greater than 5 now. So here we will follow the same method as we did in question number 1. We will subtract the whole part with whole part. That is 5 minus 4. Next we will subtract the numerator with numerator. Then we will keep the denominator as it is. So here 5 minus 4 that is 1, 14 minus 5 that is 9 and then 11 as denominator. So here 1, 9 by 11 is the solution for the second question. Our third example is 5, 1 by 6 minus 3, 2 by 21. Here you can see that in both the fractions we have two different denominators. So to solve this question first of all we need to make the denominator same. So what we need to do? We need to take the LCM of this 6 and 21. We know that LCM of 6 and 21 is 42. So what we need to do here? To make this 6 42 we need to multiply here by 7 in numerator as well as in denominator. So here we will write 5 here as it is this 1 cross 7. We need to multiply this 6 by 7. This minus as it is. Next this whole part as it is. Next to make the denominator 42 here. 
we need to multiply by 2 in numerator as well as in denominator. So here we will write 2 cross 2 and here 21 cross 2. So here 5 as it is, 1 cross 7 that is 7, 6 cross 7 that is 42, this minus, this 3, 2 cross 2, 4, 21 cross 2 that is 42. Here you can see that now we have the same denominator in both the fractions. So to solve this question next we need to check the numerator of both the fractions. So here numerator of first fraction that is 7 is greater than the numerator of the second fraction that is 4. So here it is quite easy for us to solve this question. We will follow the same method as we done in question number 1. Simply we will subtract the whole part. So 5 minus 3. Next we will subtract the numerators that is 7 minus 4 and we will keep the denominator as it is that is 42. So here 5 minus 3 that is 2, 7 minus 4 that is 3 and this 42 as it is. So solution for our question is 2, 3 by 42. Let's take our fourth example that is 6, 2 by 7 minus 3, 5 by 14. Here in this question, we are quickly going to apply what we done in question number 1, 2, 3. So here you can see that denominator in both the numbers are different. So we will try to make the denominator same. So we need to take the LCM of 7 and 14 that is 14. So here to make the denominator 14, we need to multiply 2 in numerator and in denominator. So we will keep the whole part as it is. We need to multiply 2 here in numerator. So 2 cross 2, 4. Here 7 cross 2, 14. Minus 3, 5 by 14 as it is. Next, here you can see that denominators are same now. We need to check next numerator of the first fraction is greater than numerator of the second fraction or not. So here you can see that 4 is less than 5. So we need to make the numerator of first fraction greater than the numerator of the second fraction. So simply we need to subtract 1 from here. So 6 minus 1 that is 5. Here we need to add the denominator. So here 14 plus 4 that is 18. Here 14 as it is minus second fraction as it is. Now we need to subtract the whole part from whole part that is 5 minus 3 that is 2. Next 18 minus 5 that is 13. 14 as it is. So here 2 13 by 14 is the solution for the given question. Thanks for watching friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment on this video. Thank you.